Okay, so here is a very big reason a lot of entrepreneurs struggle when it comes to building their business. Now, when I've talked about this with many of my clients, it causes these huge aha moments and it helps them start seeing things differently and doing things differently, which helps them get much better results in their business faster, okay? So what are we talking about here? We are talking about when, you, when, you, when you're stuck thinking like an employee, when in fact, if you're building an all online business, in, you know, you're in the home business industry, you're trying to become your own boss. You wanna be your own boss, but it's really hard to make that happen, be successful when you are thinking like an employee rather than an entrepreneur. So if you don't know me, I am Erin Birch. I help people gain the skill sets and the mindset to grow a successful online business. So here's the thing. You have to change your thinking to be your own boss. It means you have to motivate yourself because there's no one hanging over your shoulder telling you to do the daily activities. When you're an employee, you know if you don't do your job, you're going to lose your job. You're going to get fired and you're going to lose your income. But when you're your own boss, there's no one to fire you. There's no one pushing you to do those, those daily activities that you need to do. You're not going to make the money that you want, but there's no one pushing you to do it. As an entrepreneur, as your own boss, you have to push yourself to do those activities all by yourself. Now, you can have a coach or be part of a team and all those kinds of things, people encouraging you and poking you at the stick once in a while, but at the end of the day, it's up to you. Your success is up to you. So you have to do what you need to do to stay motivated. You need to have a daily method of operation and you need to get it done. Simple logic. But when I talk about this with clients, oftentimes they're like, oh my God, that's what it is. Oftentimes people are afraid to think outside the box and do particular activities because if they did that in their job place, they might get fired in your job place, you know what to do. And you're not often, you're not allowed to think outside the box. Don't think for yourself, just do what's in the manual. So when you're trained like that, when you've been working a job for so long for someone else who tells you exactly what to do, it's kind of hard to go, huh, I wonder if this would work. I wonder if this is something that would, you know, help me in my business. An entrepreneur goes, let's try it. Let's go and do it. Let's see how it goes. If it doesn't work out, we pivot. We learn something. Let's give it a go. But as an employee, you're kind of like, I'm not allowed to do what I think might be a good idea. That's not in the manual. So if you've ever had a boss, you know what I'm talking about. I've only had like three bosses in my entire life. I've been self-employed for 24 years now. But even when I worked in a flower shop, my last job, I was the only employee. It was like the boss and me. But I had to design the way she wanted me to. I couldn't get overly creative because it was her store. So I couldn't just like do these far out flower arrangements. I could with men. That's why I love doing the arrangements with men because I could be a lot more more creative because they appreciated different things. Whereas when it was for women, it was like carnations, baby's breath, roses. It's got to look all FTD like. That's what drove me nuts about working in a flower shop. And you were like, you know, FTD, that's like the flat or the worldwide flower company thing, you know, and they've got their Christmas arrangements where people can choose between like 20 designs and they're all just as ugly as the next one. The round ball of carnations, baby's breath and roses used to make me nuts because there was no creativity in those those arrangements. But you had to like follow the guide. Carnation goes here, there, there, there and there. Then you put your baby's breath in. So you were doing it by the book. You copy this design and that's what's expected of you. So you kind of, you know, when you're working for someone else, it's the same thing. 
You're doing what you're told to do, what's expected of you. But then you become an entrepreneur because you want to be your own boss. You want a freedom lifestyle. You want to wake up when you want to wake up. No alarm clock. You want to create each and every day exactly the way you want it to be. You know, you have to think differently to make this work. You have to motivate yourself. You can't be at the end of the day, looking back on what you did do and what you didn't do and go, I actually didn't really get a lot of the income producing activities done. I didn't make any offers. I didn't make any money. Like you, you are, you're responsible for your own success. And it's a mindset shift going from the mindset of an employee to the mindset of an entrepreneur. You have to look at everything differently. So oftentimes, once people realize this, they're like, oh my God. So I am giving you permission to start thinking like an entrepreneur, like you are the boss of your own business, like a CEO. That means you can think outside the box. That means you're allowed to try things and see how it goes. It means you can do things and have it not be perfect. Because no one's going to fire you if it doesn't work out perfectly. I want to give you permission to go full on with the activities that you need to improve upon, like marketing, conversations, all of that, and give yourself permission to suck at it first. Like in a job, if you suck at it at first, you may, it may not go down so well if you're expected to do better from day one. Back to training. Well, when you're your own boss, you're kind of training and doing all at the same time. Whereas, you know, when you're an employee, you might do the training stuff first before you're, you know, put onto the floor or into the office or whatever. But when you're on your own boss, you're learning and you're doing at the same time. At least you bloody well should be. Because you can't just learn, 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 and learn while learning is imperative because you have skills you need to grow. The actual learning doesn't make you any money. It's the actual doing that's going to make you money. So don't be afraid for things, you know, to maybe not work out all the time. Don't, don't worry about making mistakes. You're going to learn from them. So, you know, imperfect action is going to be no action any day of the week. So you want to start thinking differently. If you've been an employee all your life, it's going to be an adjustment. So there you go. I hope that helps you out. So anyway, there you go. Don't be afraid to think outside the freaking box. Okay. Anyway, I love you guys. If you're struggling at all, just let me know. You can check in my stories. I'm actually launching something coming up to, it's like, it's going to be intensive coaching for a few people who want to work with me, uh, grow your business really fast. I'm just going to be teaching people exactly what I've done to grow my own business in a very short amount of time. So if you want to get going with that uh, and allow me to help you build your business quickly, you can just message me. If you want to jump on a quick call, have a conversation, you can also check my Facebook stories. Right now I talk a bit about it, but just message me because this is something I'm going to start doing really, really quickly. My goal it's because I know what's coming next year. Next year is going to be the year from hell. If you've been to the grocery store lately, you know what I'm talking about. If you're paying attention to what's going on with the fuel supply, diesel supply, all of that stuff, and the energy crisis, like, pay attention, get ready, buckle up, because it's going to get bad. So what do we do about this? Only things we can really do is you know, get prepared to the best of our ability, maybe have some extra supplies around the house, save money where you can, right? Maybe not, you know, maybe not buying the, the five purses this month. <laughs> but also one thing you can do is make some extra money, make more money so that you have some money saved or the, so that you can use that also to buy some supplies that you might be needing. But that's one thing you want to be doing is saving money and making extra money. So this is what I'm going to help people do, help people get going with making extra money in a very short amount of time. Yeah, you got to show up. You have to be coachable. You have to be real willing to work for the money. It, you know, it doesn't, it kills me when people are kind of unwilling to put in any effort and they're like, well, I thought I just had to, you know, like do this one 
you know, a post every day on social media. Well, if it were that easy, everybody posting on social media would be multimillionaires, wouldn't they? It's not that easy, and don't let anyone tell you it is. It takes effort, it takes some thinking, all that good stuff. But if you want me to teach you exactly what you need to be doing every single day, then message me and we can have a conversation with that, okay? Because what I'm going to be doing is just I'm going to help people map out like a 90-day financial goal and then I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do every single day to hit that goal, okay? So if you want to have a conversation about that, just message me, okay? Awesome. Have an amazing Saturday night, an amazing Sunday. I'm off to go see the Carol Ships. If you live near the ocean, you might know what I mean. It's when uh, people with boats and sailboats, and they decorate and float around and play Christmas music. And then I'm off to some kind of a Christmas gig at a pub, local pub, which will be interesting. So anyway, if you want to have a conversation, just message me, okay? Bye!